starting this bulletin with some stories coming in from Australia where dozens of uh, sex, same-sex couples exchanged uh, wedding vows across the country at a stroke of midnight after the country's historic uh, marriage equality laws came into effect. Commonwealth Games printer Craig Burns and his partner Luke Sullivan were among the first couples in the country to tie the knot. The couple said I do just minutes after midnight after the month's notice required for the state to recognize a marriage expired. There's just more, more acceptance these days and um, I think it's just people wanting like more equality like you know in the past you've seen um, rights change for, for black people in America and, and even here in Australia like people people couldn't vote or women couldn't vote so it's just like a progression basically of equality and people wanting you know acceptance across different backgrounds basically. Australia became the 26th country to legalize same-sex marriage after parliamentarians in December voted in favor of changing the Marriage Act. And until we learned that Craig was gay, we didn't give a lot of thought to gay relationships or same-sex relationships. And I can understand that that's why it's taken so long for Australia to acknowledge and, and um, support same-sex relationships sufficiently to actually have that legislation passed because if, if it doesn't involve you directly, you don't worry, you don't think about it.